Hello Hacienda La Fuente, this is Ricardo, one of your tech tosses, and today we are going to learn how to generate a student grade report so that you can share that with the students, okay? So I know a lot of you guys have been asking, how can we generate this type of report to send to our students? Currently, there is nothing on Canvas that allows us to do this. I mean, you could do it individually if you went to the student in Gradebook and you went to their grades, okay? Uh, over here, you do have the option to print grades and you can print them as a PDF and that will be a way to do it. But this means that you will have to do this for each particular student you have in your class and that will take a very, very long time. So I'm going to show you how to create this file right here where it will give you all of the assignments, the grades, it will give you the different weights by category and it will also give you a final score for each of your students in your Canvas classes, okay? So in order to do this, we are going to use this tool that I'm going to provide for you in the uh, description of the YouTube video down below. And what you are going to do is very easy, okay? The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to grades, okay? When you are here and you have all of your grades for your kids, you are going to go to Actions, you are going to Export, and then go ahead and save it under Downloads or maybe on your desktop somewhere where you can find it, okay? I already have downloaded this right here, so let me just save it as the same name, and I'm going to say that I want to replace it, okay? So now I have it. So I have the Excel file that I'm going to use. Now I'm going to go to this tool, the Student Grade Report, that was created by um, a friend. And what you want to do is you want to choose the CSV file. Okay, I'm going to just go and pick it. Remember, I put it in my on my desktop. So I'm going to pick it. I'm going to say open. And now that I have it, I have the option to omit the assignment group totals if I want to, but I'm going to leave it like this and I'm going to generate the report. And now I have a report for each of my students that I can share with them instead of having to do it one at a time. Again, if you have any questions on how to do this, please contact any of your tech tosses. Have a great day.